Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'll call the regular meeting of the Census Parish Council Thursday, November 20th to order. Our invocation night will be led by Chaplain Spivey from the uh, Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office. If we bow our heads in, in prayer, please. Gracious Heavenly Father, during this month that we recognize and give thanks for all of your goodness and mercy towards us, uh, I thank you for this great parish of Ascension and all of its uh, wonderful residents. I ask, Lord, that you would grant wisdom liberally to all men, to all of our parish council leaders, uh, to our parish president, all of those that are in authority. I ask that your divine guidance would be with them. Uh, we remember those uh, recently as this morning who lost their lives. We pray for uh, the John Tom Play Jr. family. I ask that your peace would be with them during this tragic loss. And uh, we'll be sure to give you thanks for all of these things. I'm asking them in the name of Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Our pledge tonight will be led by Mayor-elect Barney Arsenault. Mayor? Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Council Members. If you'd all follow along with me, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Thank you, sir. Ms. Suzanne, roll call, please. Take note that uh, all present, with the exception of Councilman Adrian Thompson. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Adrian Thompson called me and uh, informed me to let you know that he had to go to work tonight, emergency shift. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Thank you, sir. Before we get to our, there are no chair additions tonight. Uh, our public comment period. Anyone wishing to speak on anything on the agenda tonight, please sign in with Miss Suzanne. Anything on the agenda. Before we get into our presentations, I'd like to remind our, our councilman that Wednesday we will be having a the, uh, we will be serving Thanksgiving lunch to our, all the parish uh, employees at Lamar Dixon. If you could, I'm sure we all remember it, but put it back on your calendar and make sure no one forgets. That would be Wednesday. Um, I have one more announcement. That's, uh, it's it's kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, but I'm not glad. Uh, our, our own Aaron Looney, this will be his last meeting with us tonight. Uh, Aaron has accepted the the job at the LSU Office of Public Relations, and we're some proud for that, Aaron. We, we hate to lose you. Thank you for your service. And I guess the hardest Safe thing word. we've got to realize is, is what the heck are we going to do for another coach? What's Coach Mack going to do without you? So thank you. We'll move into our presentation uh, part of the agenda. Tonight we are honoring a man who, no stranger to anybody, been here for years, and a magnificent job. He's a, he's a true ambassador to Gonzales in the Parish of Ascension. And I welcome Chief Bill Landry. Police Department, and he 
served the residence of Gonzalez in the Century Parish as a police officer for 17 years before being elected Chief of Police in October of 1992. <coughs> he served as the Chief of Police of Gonzalez for 16 years, and his retirement in January will mark the end of a dedicated and outstanding career spanning over 33 years. And he has served as the president of several law enforcement associations and currently serves statewide their advisory board and was recently appointed by Governor Jindal to the Louisiana Commission on Law Enforcement and his, his contribution, dedication, and service to the residents of Ascension Parish are greatly appreciated and hereby recognized. Now there be it proclaimed I, Tommy Martin, as President of Ascension Parish, State of Louisiana, by virtue of the authority vested in me, to hear <coughs> unto you proclaim November 20th, 2008, at Chief William Bill Landry Day in Ascension Pass. Thank you, Bill.
you know, we went through some tragedies. I went through, we just recently went like three hurricanes through my career. It was the ski mask rapist, the serial murders, uh, a, a church shooting, and you almost just get tired of hearing the bad news. And I just really need to go out and find some of the simple things in life and enjoy the good things. And uh, make sure my phone just doesn't ring at night anymore. <laughs> and, uh, I can say that the my uh, successor is going to do a great job for the city. We have many fine men and women with the police department, and then a new mayor and a new chief of police. We're going to continue to grow and prosper. And uh, again, uh, Mr. President and uh, Chair and Council members. Thank you very much. It's uh, greatly appreciated. The only keys I usually give out when I also retire is, since we don't use it anymore, we, had, we didn't have keys to the city, so what we would do would take a little brasso and polish up the keys to the jail. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have two keys, old keys left in my drawer, and one of them's coming home with me. But uh, to get the first uh, key to the parish is so really uh, so I'll be glad to sign any executive orders that might be <laughs> Since the pay raise is long, there's probably a problem. I'm going to play a few more holidays. Uh, if the brothers and sisters all want to come up and, and take a photo. And actually, the lights were down, so I need to take another photo, if okay. y'all wouldn't mind. And, Councilman, would you like to come down, please? And let's get y'all in behind them as well. Feel a great hand.
No. No more two thirds. Okay. Thank y'all. Um, moving right along. Before I get into the uh, the parish president's report, I have another uh, announcement. We are going to pass on items twelve and nine. Twelve and nine, councilman. Um, at this time, before we move forward, Mr. President, I'd like to call on Councilman Joseph. Councilman Joseph, you have your Toys for Todd program that's starting right now. Would you give maybe a little 10 second, 15, 30 second, uh, what we, how we can help you? Oh, all right. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, the Toys for Todd program been in Ascension Parish for the seven years as a Marine Corps organization, and uh, I've been a, a coordinator for the last seven years. The program starts from October 1st and ends on December the 22nd. And the way the program works is uh, basically the public get involved and donate toys, and those toys come to uh, the main warehouse, and we distribute it out to the uh, local community organization, and they distribute it out to the kids. Basically, we're just a holding point and storing point, and uh, also the Marine Corps Toy for Tides organization is a 501C organization. So everything that you donate is tax deduct deductible. And uh, if you can, you can reach me at 225-348-0254. Uh, that's my cell phone. And, or you can email me at uh, apc-t4t at cox.net. And you'll also go to the website, Marine Corps, uh, www.toyfortot.org. And you can also find that information on there, and you can also put in the location, and you can go to Ascension Parish, and you'll see my name, phone number, and email address. And uh, boxes, if you want boxes in your business to collect toys, please contact me, and we'll, we'll provide Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Thank you. Item 6, we have a parish president report. The only thing I want to say is uh, tomorrow is the last day to put stuff uh, debris by the road. We hope to finish cleaning up by December 5th and uh, close it out. And I want to commend everybody who was involved, uh, Public Works and uh, our contractor, done a pretty good job. So I uh, want to thank all of them uh, for doing and working hard. Yes, sir. Councilman Joseph. Uh, Mr. Chairman, that's for debris, but C and D is still going, correct? Same thing. It's, it's going to be the end of it. December 5th, we're going to try and wrap everything up. Okay, I have one more question. Then um, the letter that went to FEMA to go on private property, is that letter is uh, there and we're waiting on it, or we have, uh, we're just not going to pursue, pursue that, doing that? We have not heard anything uh, recently. They said it would be about a two month period. If that happens, we can certainly re-engage with our contractor. <clears throat> but as far as the roadside debris, uh, trees, the vegetation, and the uh, C and D, uh, we want to wrap it up by no, by December fifth. State's also going to wrap theirs up by December fifth. Can't continually go on and on. No, that's <laughs> so, fine. But we want to put a deadline. That's it. Uh, hopefully tomorrow is the last day they'll put out by the road. Okay. Okay, sir. Any more? Comments to the parish president? Okay, sir. Thank you. Item 7, consent agenda. We will go through uh, item A, our transportation committee items. That will be one through, 1 through 3, recreation committee items, item 1, and finance items 1 through 7. Consent agenda, please. So moved, Chairman. Yeah, i got to move by Councilman Dempsey-Lambert. Second by Councilman Valentine. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. We move into our general business section, uh, introduction of an ordinance to revoke that portion of the 7.5 servitude running along the north property line of Tract A-1 of Bonlu subdivision. Do we? Motion to introduce, Mr. Chairman. Second. Motion introduced by Councilman Todd Lambert. Second by Councilman George Valentine. Any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance introduced. I have a speaker. We are skipping number nine. We're passing. I have a speaker for special Tuesday. Good evening. What's so special about Tuesday? 
for hundreds of disabled, Special Tuesday is a volunteer program in our community, providing recreational activities for the disabled and their families over the past 13 years. Some of the participants and their parents came to your finance meeting in July. Ms. Bobby Blanchard, director, expressed her thanks for your past support and asked for continued funding. Some on this council were reluctant to help. Seeing your reluctance, President Martinez promised to provide $3,000 to fund the program for the rest of 2008. That promise has not been fulfilled. The President has budgeted $10,000 for Special Tuesday in the 09 budget, for which we are thankful, but your approval is needed. Candidate Martinez promised to take care of Special Tuesday almost one year ago. Ms. Blanchard has contacted his office, staff, and legal counsel numerous times ready to sign the Cooperative Endeavor Agreement under the umbrella of the parish, as was done previously. She is at the hospital caring for an elderly patient. Had she been advised that Special Tuesday was on the agenda, she could have made arrangements to be here tonight. Please, do not use funding to try and control the program, as has been done in the past. Some on the council have been busy playing golf to raise money for charities, going to dinners with higher-ups in industry, and spending over 41000 traveling over the past 10 months. The special Tuesday Christmas party will be held on Saturday, December 13th, from 5 to 9 at the Sorrento Civic Center. Please come. Hug a handicapped kid. Shoot baskets. Play volleyball and share a conversation. Seeing the program firsthand will evaporate any excuse about the benefits it has. Thank you. Okay, item 10, we have Robert Insurance Agency, Mr. Harry Robert. Yes, sir, hold up, uh, Mr. Harry. President Martinez. I'd just like to address some of Ms. Goblet's comments. Uh, yes, sir. We have contacted Ms. Blanchett, uh, and we're trying to get her to come in and work on the cooperative endowment agreement and also create a 501c corporation. Uh, Ms. Manda has graciously uh, agreed to help her draft that, uh, the paperwork for that on her own time uh, at lunch or after work. And uh, as Ms. Goplet said, she has been uh, sitting with an elderly woman. But we need to get that done uh, so we can proceed. Uh, it, it's kind of a gray area if you try to give uh, uh, funds to an individual person. Uh, so we want to get make sure that we have all the book work and everything done and the paperwork done uh, before we proceed. We all recognize, I, I think, on this council and uh, administration that uh, Special Tuesday is a great thing for Ascension Parish and the kids of Ascension Parish. And uh, we're certainly not going to hold Special Tuesday hostage uh, for any reason. Uh, we, we also want to participate uh, in that organization and with these kids. And uh, as far as the $3,000, I think uh, we've got the commitments. I just don't think the money's ever been picked up on that. Uh, so I just wanted to address those comments because uh, we don't want to make something bad out of something that's really good for the kids and also the parish. Yes, sir. Councilman yeah. Chase Snyder. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I also want to address something. Uh, the implications are that uh, people in this, uh, this council uh, were not wholeheartedly supporting uh, Special Tuesday. Uh, I have a very vested interest in Special Tuesday, and I assure everybody in this parish, every one of these council members support Special Tuesday 100%. We are not, however, going to lend money illegally to uh, any type of organization, wh whatever it may be. Uh, and so we want to do it the right way. Uh, we'll be glad to do it the right way when all the paperwork is properly filled out and the things are done to, according to our uh, legal advisors. And we want to forward it and make it even better and support it even better. So I appreciate all the support we are getting from all the councilmen, and I appreciate all of that, and, I, and all of the people uh, within that benefit from Special Tuesday appreciate it also. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Well said. I also thank would you. like to add to that that I don't think it was a bad deal for a councilman to raise $1,000 for Dreams Come True and $1,000 for March of Dimes. 
And I'll beg to differ with anybody that thinks that that was, that was wrong. Anybody else? Thank you all. Number 10, Mr. Harry Robert. Mr. Cedric Grant. Councilman, I'm going to have Mr. Robert explain the details of what has transpired here in the acquisition of uh, our health insurance program, but I just wanted to hit the highlights with you and how this impacts the budget, which you'll be voting on this evening. Uh, we, are, on an annual basis, we pursue quotes for, for health insurance, and Mr. Robert will show you the detail that he's gone through in that. Uh, what I'm pleased to uh, announce is based on what Mr. Robert meeting with me about 10 days ago is that what we have the opportunity for this year is a decrease in health insurance, which is nothing short of remarkable in this, mar in this marketplace. We, we will be uh, we're proposing to you um, keeping the same company and the same benefits, which the, the employees seem to be very satisfied with, and it's a fairly good program, but at a 4% reduction in premiums for the coming year. Um, I think that's a, a tribute to our workforce the, and, and the, the small claims that we've had and, and, and the management of the program in and of itself. Um, I would like Mr. Robert to come up now and, and give you the details of how we got there, but, but, but it's very good news that he, he has to report to you tonight. Thank you, Council. I appreciate it. And as Mr. Grant said, it's, it's unusual to, to, to offer a presentation in a program which, which shows a, a decrease in medical insurance. But this year we did the same thing as we normally do. We sent a request for proposals to 21 different companies. We had about seven, eight companies that entertained the, 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 the prospect of, of writing our business. And then in negotiating with them, we narrowed that down to four different companies who really wanted to give us the product that we needed at the price we thought we could afford. The companies that we ended up considering were Humana, which is the company we recommend that we stay with, uh, United Healthcare. Uh, Aetna and Blue Cross. The reason why we elected, you know, to stay with, with Humana is because, you know, they offer the same program at a reduced rate, and after meeting several times with the insurance committee and all the human resource department, everybody was 100 percent satisfied, you know, with the existing program. So there was really no need to change. So <clears throat> our recommendation, of course, this year as last year, we are offering our employees a choice of two plans they can have in a high deductible with an HSA, which the parish participates in HSA, or they can have a regular PPO plan. You know, we give them an opportunity. <clears throat> and our recommendation is that uh, is that you all move to accept the renewal with Humana. So moved. Second. Second. Second by Councilman Lambert, second by Councilman Chris Lower. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carried. Thank you. Uh, Councilman, the second part of my presentation is just to address two mandatory requirements from the Government uh, Accounting Standards Board. Number one is GASB 10, and the second is GASB 45. GASB 10 has to do with casualty insurance, which is your automobile, your workman's compensation, and your liability. GASB 45 has to do with health and other related post-retirement, you know, benefits. Now, these are just actuarial reports that are required by the government just to make sure that all of the obligations for future liabilities are considered whenever you do your accounting reporting, okay? Uh, we need approval of these two motions so to satisfy all the mandatory requirements. And I have an outline of, of, of all the different programs and engagement letters for different companies that have provided some of the service for us over the years. And if you want to follow the last page in that presentation that you have from GASB, I'll read through it, and then we can ask you all to approve these motions. First motion is to approve the proposal of GASB 45 actuary services for other post-employment benefits by Rebo Fontenot uh, Benefits Actuarial Services in the amount of $10,000 for a 24-month period. I'll make that motion. I'll second. I have a motion by Councilman Clark, second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Okay, thank you. The second... It's a motion to cover invoice uh, such a number for Sigma Actuarial Consulting Group in the amount of $3,500 for actuarial services performed for the year 2007. 
The prior council already authorized this contract. However, we never received the contract in the proper building, so we're just asking permission to go ahead and remit on that. Motion by Councilman Kluart. Second. Second by Councilman Benny Johnson. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. And the third motion is the, the requirement that we're going to have to fulfill the same actuary report for GASB 10 in the year of 2008. Now, we presently have the same company that's considering doing it for us. However, they've indicated that they're their price has gone up from $3,500 to $6,000. So what we'd like is just to have a motion that we can approve, you know, a rate of $6,000 or less, because what we're going to do is try to find somebody else to give us the same services, you know, for a cheaper rate than what they propose to do this coming year. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Got a motion by Councilman Oliver Joseph, second by Councilman Kent Shakes. Now, any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Next, we get to item 11, condemnation proceeding. Mr. Laverne Bourgeois. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Council Members, President Morton S. Uh, tonight, I come before you again asking for direction on a condemnation proceeding. Uh, we have in your packet the uh, events that were uh, in sequence from June 23rd up until tonight's proceeding for the condemnation. At this time, uh, we were not able to identify the owners or get the contact with them. We sent it to a curator who did his legal um, notification, posted in papers and so forth, and it's come tonight to come before you to a next decision that has to be made. I'm asking you tonight to advise us what the next decision will be. Motion to approve the property is being condemned. Second. I have a motion by Councilman Lower, second by Councilman Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Thank you. We will pass on item 12. We'll move into our public hearing section. Reading of an ordinance. Amending the 2008 budget and appropriating the 2009 budget. A motion to open public hearing, please. Motion. Motion by Councilman Kluart. Second. Second by Councilman Shake Snyder. Chairman, Chairman Bell, we need to read the ordinance first. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, ma'am. Whereas a revision of certain budgets for the 2008 budget year for certain funds has been prepared and submitted to the council as follows. There you'll see the operating surplus amended to the fund balance after amendments for 2008. Whereas a proposed operating budget for year 2009 includes revenues of $58,183,600 plus required fund balance of $5,100,605 for a total equal to $63,284,205 and expenditures of $58,948,305. The capital budget includes revenues of $4,288,841 plus plus required fund balance of $24,826,959 for a total equal to $29,115,800 and expenditures of $33,451,700. Therefore, total operating and capital budget revenues plus required fund balance equal to $92,400,005 and expenditures equal $92,400,005. Inner fund transfers are $35,312,305. Whereas the Ascension Parish Council has, have, has reviewed and considered such proposed budget and made revisions of same, and whereas said proposed budget was duly said after proper notice to the public for public hearing, which was held on November 20, 2008, as required by the revised statutes of the State of Louisiana and the Ascension Parish Home Rule Charter, therefore be it ordained by the Ascension Parish Council of the State of Louisiana Section 1, 2008 Amended Budget. That the amended budgets as prepared for 2008 are approved and appropriated by Ascension Parish Council with the stipulation that transfer from the Sales and Use Tax District No. 1 to the General Fund and the Road and Bridge Fund in the amount necessary to maintain a balanced fund but will not exceed the amount authorized in the budget. The, the Recreation Fund is allocated 10% of the net 1% Sales and Use Tax District 1 revenues as an additional source of funding and 10% of that share is provided to Recreation B. Funding is also provided by an allocation to Lamar Dixon Expo Center Fund, Sales and Use Tax Number 1 Bond Sinking Fund, 
Office Building Construction Fund, DPW West Building, LCDBG Hillaryville Fund, and FINS, Families in Need of Services. To the extent that the resulting revenues of the sales and use tax, District Number 1, exceed expenditures and transfers, and after an adequate fund balance is maintained, then such excess will be transferred 50% to the Utilities Fund and 50% to the Road Construction Fund. The one-third net of the sales and use tax district number two revenues collected for fire protection shall be shared by Ascension Parish Fire Prote Protection District number one at 65 percent, by Ascension Parish Fire Protection District number two at 13 percent, and by Ascension Parish Fire District Protection District number three at 22 percent. All unexpended appropriations will lapse at December 31, 2008. Section two, 2009 budget. That the budget proposed for the year 2009 is approved, adopted, and appropriated with the following provisions. Expenditures not contemplated in the operation of the government of Ascension Parish as set forth in this budget are to be approved in accordance with the provisions of Article 7, Section 701 of the Home Rule Charter of Ascension Parish. Transfer from the Sales and Use Tax District No. 1 to the General Fund and the Road and Bridge Fund in the amount necessary to maintain a balanced fund, but will not exceed the amount authorized in the budget. The Recreation Fund is allocated 10 percent of the net 1 percent Sales and Use Tax District No. 1 revenues as an additional source of funding, and 10 percent of that share is provided to Recreation B. Funding is also provided by an allocation to Lamar Dixon Expo Center Sales and Use Ta Tax District No. 1 Sinking Fund and FINS to the extent that the resulting revenues of the Sales and Use Ta Tax District No. 1 exceed expenditures and transfers, and after an adequate fund balance is maintained, then such excess will be transferred 50 percent to the Utilities Fund and 50 percent to the Road Construction Fund. The one-third net of the Sales and Use ta Tax District No. 2 revenues collected for fire protection shall be shared by Ascension Parish Fire Protection District No. 1 at 65 percent, Ascension Parish Fire District No. 2 at 13 percent, and Ascension Parish Fire Dis Protection District No. 3 at 22 percent. Funding to provide for the 2008 encumbrances is hereby approved and appropriated. All unexpended appropriations will lapse at December 31, 2009. Thank you, ma'am. I have a motion by Councilman Kluart to open public hearing, and a second by Councilman Kent Shakespeare. I have a speaker on this item, please, Ms. Goppel. Thank you. I need to get this up here. I have something to put on here. Can I get somebody to move this up for me? Somebody pushed this down and I can't get it back up. That's fine. That's fine. Please start my time when I speak, please. Okay. Thanks. Great. Okay. Good. We're good to go. Proposed amendments, if passed tonight, will add another $11 million to the 2008 budget. I have a chart here on the table. Revenue. The operating budget and salaries are up for 09. You can see on that chart. The capital projects are down, which account for the greatest part of the reduction over 08. 30 additional positions have been budgeted in the budget. Almost 7 million will be spent toward the 88 million outstanding debt. 750,000 is to be transferred out of the insurance fund to upgrade parks. Parks need to be upgraded. How will this affect the future of the fund? I trust you know or will have asked what the 218,000 in capital projects with no listing is for. This includes 100,000 for general administration and 91.5 thousand for the jail. This is an opportunity for abuse of taxpayer dollars. At the end of the year after expenses, there will be almost one million in lighting district number six with no plan to offer services to the people. You are recently allocated money for the lights at Highway 30 and I-10 out of this fund. President Martinez has helped to broker the Cooperative Endeavor Agreement with the City of Gonzales. Where is the leadership on this item? Get a plan and give the people a, or give the people a refund. 100000 is in the budget to promote a tax proposition for 2009. We only have one half of a cent of, in sales tax remaining for all our needs. Using all the sales tax for roads will require passing more property tax, which will, may jeopardize future funding, considering the recent defeat of the three mil proposed for Lamar. With the current economic climate, you would do well to live below this budget, if at all possible. I commend you, President Martinez, for your efforts to improve efficiency of the workforce, improve pro productivity through technology, 
and apply cost-saving measures. We will see just how successful you've been one year from now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'll need a motion at this time. All right. Motion by Councilman Valentine to close. Second by Councilman Cluar. At this time, Ms. Aaron Turo, would you come up with your budget amendments, please? We have a few budget amendments that we need to um, have adopted tonight in addition to amending the 08 budget and the 09 and adopting the 09 budget. First is in the general fund, it's revenue, an intergovernmental grant to appropriate $112,000 for public safety interoperable communication grant. The expenditure for that is in the OEP department and it's in the appropriation and grants code and it's to increase that by $112,000. Bayou Terrace Fund, appropriate 12500 to pavement maintenance for the installation of speed cushions. The Utilities Fund, we need to create the Hillaryville Sewer Department due to the con completion of construction and appropriate 9000 in expenses as follows for the remainder of 2008. Utilities, $4,000. Professional Services, $5,000. Budget amendments for 2009 budget, the Utilities Fund, appropriate 63,000 in expenses as follows for the Hillaryville Sewer Department. Utilities 11,000, miscellaneous maintenance 20,000, professional services 19,000, fire casualty and general liability insurance 2,000, major repairs to buildings 10,000, and miscellaneous expenses 1,000. I moved the ordinance with the amended. Oh, Councilman Lambert moves the amended um, 2008 budget and appropriating the 2009 budget. I have a second, please. Councilman Benny Johnson, any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance passes. Item 16, reading of our ordinance to amend the mental health ordinance. Ms. Manda. Be it resolved by the Ascension Parish Council, the majority of the members elected concurring that, whereas in an election held on July 29, 1952, the police jury was duly authorized by a majority of the taxpayers of Ascension Parish to create and establish the Ascension Parish Mental Health Program, whereas this was created as the Ascension Parish Board of Mental Health. In order to keep up with the changing times, this ordinance is hereby amended to reflect the mental health needs of this day. Section 18-3 of the Ascension Parish Code of Ordinances is hereby amended as follows. The name of the board shall now be Ascension Parish Mental Health and Addictive Dis Disorders Advisory Board. The board shall consist of five members to be interviewed by the Ascension Parish Personnel Committee and approved by a majority of the Ascension Parish Council. All boards and members shall be registered voters in Ascension Parish and as much as possible shall represent the diverse cultures and communities of the parish. In addition to the five members appointed by the Parish Council, one member shall be a representative of parish government and shall serve in an ex officio capacity. Appointments to the board as much as possible should include individuals with experience in health care, behavioral health, human services, youth serving organizations, schools, religious communities, government, media, and or business. Two board members shall be appointed for a term of one year with annual renewals up to five years. Two members shall be appointed for a, a term of two years with biannual renewals for up to six years. One member shall be appointed for a period of three years with one three-year term renewal. All appointments are effective June 1st of each year in order to allow new council members time to work with board members for at least six months prior to renewals. Board members should indicate to the parish president whether or not they wish reappointment for another term by March 1st of the year when their, when their term expires. The personnel committee of the parish council will interview new and or replacement appointments. Members of the board shall serve without any form of compensation and will not be compensated for mileage used in attending meetings or performing their duties as board members. The board's role shall be to connect with the service agency and to provide feedback regarding satisfaction with services, to identify needed community services, and to recommend where these services need to be provided. Board member duties are as follows. To recommend to the director and parish, presidents, the parish president the kind of mental health and addictive disorder programs needed to provide for the behavioral health and well-being of parish residents. To make suggestions to the proposed budget to the director and parish president prior to submission to the parish council for approval and shall review budgetary expenditures during the fiscal year. To recommend policies regarding the following matters to the director. The addition of new programs to serve Ascension residents, location of new or existing programs, resolution of problems that affect service delivery and clients' rights. 
If any concerns about mental health operations become known to the board members, these concerns should be addressed by appointment with the agency director or at regular or specially called board, meet board meetings. Unresolved issues shall be appealed to the parish president. The board chair serves as a liaison between the board and the parish president during these discussions. The board shall only fun function in an advisory role. The board may make suggestions about agency operations, program development, use of mental health funds, policies and procedures, or other related issues, but they may not require the agency's compliance with their recommendations. The board should have a mission and bylaws consistent with the current ordinance and shall not grant the board any authority, role, or functions not specifically provided by this ordinance. The members of the board shall annually elect one member to serve as chairperson and one member to serve as vice chairperson. Officers of the board may not serve longer than two consecutive years in any one position. The board shall meet at least bi-monthly. All meetings shall comply with requirements of the Louisiana Open Meetings Law. Scheduling of special meetings requires a majority vote of the board. A majority of three members is required to hold a meeting. If a quorum is not present for a meeting, items on the agenda may be discussed, but no action may be taken on any item. Items requiring immediate action, the board may be addressed in an emergency or special meeting format. Minutes of all meetings shall be kept by the board via recordings of the proceedings. A written copy of the minutes will be developed by the board secretary. Secretarial support services for the board shall be provided by an employee of the mental health agency appointed by the director. The agency director, under the supervision of the parish president or his or her designee, shall be responsible for defining the agency's role, budget, finances, caseload services, location of offices, and satellite services, evaluation of <coughs> services, staffing, and other issues related to Ascension Parish's delivery of behavioral health services funded by the tax millage. The director shall be selected by the parish president and or his or her designee through a competitive process. The appointment of the agency director shall be made according to the parish policies and procedures. The agency director shall be an employee of the parish of Ascension and shall report to the parish president or his or her de designee. The agency director's performance shall be evaluated by the parish president or his or her designee according to existing parish employee evaluation procedures. Input from board members will be provided to the evaluator. The agency director's employment may only be terminated by the parish president according to procedures outlined in the Parish of Ascension Personnel Policy Manual and in accordance with the Charter of Ascension Parish. The director shall keep the board informed about agency activities, operations, and plans. In the event of a vacancy of the director's position, the clinical manager shall be the acting director with compensation for the extra duties until a new director is appointed. In an effort to make the name of the mental health agency less stigmatizing, the name of the parish behavioral health program and its satellite program shall be known as the Ascension Counseling Center. All other rules and regulations contained in this rule shall be promulgated subject to review and approval by the parish president. Be it further ordained that section 183H is hereby added to read, the parish of Ascension Mental Health shall direct <coughs> all of the resources of the mental health fund raised by a tax millage of Ascension residents to the prevention, evaluation, diagnosis, and treatment of mental, behavioral, and or addictive disorders. Services funded by mental health funds shall only be provided to Ascension residents. In addition, the following an ancillary services may be provided using mental health funds. Mm -hmm. Evaluation and counseling for individuals and families for behavioral health disorders that include mental health, behavioral, chemical, and addictive disorders. Psychiatric evaluation and medication monitoring for children, adolescents, mm -hmm. and adults. Services or new programs dealing with the prevention, early intervention, drug education, or treatment for youth who are experimenting with alcohol or other drugs or other forms of addictive behavior. Other new programs and or services that may be developed to meet the behavioral health needs of Ascension residents. The building or leasing of additional office clinical space as needed to offer behavioral health programs in the parish and the maintenance and operation of these buildings. Laboratory tests required for treatment of an individual's behavioral health condition as ordered by a physician in cases where an individual is indigent and does not have the funds to pay for the, this service. Office supplies and equipment for effective and efficient operation of the behavioral health program. Thank you, ma'am. I'll need a motion to open public hearing, please. So moved. Councilman Benny Johnson. Second. Second by Councilman Lohr. At this time, anyone wishing to speak on this item, please come <coughs> forward. You'll be allowed three minutes. Close. We need a motion to close uh, by Councilman Dennis Cullen, second by Councilman Lohr. I'll need a motion for the ordinance, please. So moved. Moved by Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Second. Second by Councilman <coughs> Cullen. Any discussion? Any objection? Ordinance passes. 
Number 19, Executive Session, R.J. Daglin Sons Incorporated versus Central Parish Suit, number 90334. I'll need a motion, please. Move to go in Executive Session. Move to go in Executive Session, session by Councilman Valentine, second by second. Councilman Johnson. I'll need a roll call, please. Yes. Yes. Councilman Lord. Yes. Councilman Chase Nyer. Yes. Councilman Valentine. Yes. <coughs> George can make the motion. Okay. Councilman Valentine, would you make the motion, please? Okay. Um, on executive uh, session, uh, R.J. Daigle and Sons versus Ascension Parish suit number 90334. Um, move to authorize legal counsel, Ms. Lindsay Mann and Jeff Diaz, to take any and all action necessary to protect the parish interests in this litigation. I second. We got a um, second by Councilman Cluard. We got any discussion? Any objection? Motion carries. Motion uh, carries. Item 20, we have Councilman. Todd Lambert. Second. 